Okay, let's do some math for fun, and this video is brought to you by Brilliant. More about them later. We are going to solve my first Quinty equation that's not easy to factor. Namely, x to the fifth power plus x to the fourth power plus 1 that's equal to 0. This is not easy to factor because 1 and negative 1, they are not solution for this. And the truth is, this only has one real solution, and that's the only one that we are trying to get, right? Another truth is that, unfortunately, we do not have a formula to solve a general quintic equation. It has been proven though. But I do not know if there is a formula for quintic that only has the fifth power term, the fourth power term, and also the constant term. If you do know about such a formula, please leave a comment down below and let us know. But anyway though, please pause the video and try this first. Okay, hopefully you guys did pause the video and try it. Man, I think we still have to try to factor this because we don't have a formula for that unless you have other method for this. Okay, let's see how we can do that. Well, we have a quintic. Maybe we can break it down into a quadratic times a cubic as follows. So let me just put this down here for you guys. First way, let's write this as a quadratic times a cubic. And I will just write this because this right here is 1. So I will put down x squared. And then the next coefficient, I do not know. So I just put down ax and then some constant b. And the truth is, because we are just adding 1 right here, this right here can be 1 or negative 1. But I don't know, I will just put on b. So that's the quadratic part, and then the cubic part is x plus the power, same reason, so we have a 1. And then plus the next constant, x squared, and then another constant, and then last the e, like this. And the truth is, b and e, they have to be both positive 1, or maybe both negative 1. But I don't know which one. Anyway though, you can multiply everything out, and then just equate coefficient, and you end up with a system of equations, with a lot of unknowns, and a lot of variables. Nah, no, let's not do that, this is overkill. Alright, let's talk about something that's much better, namely, problem-solving strategy. And my favorite one among all is that, when we are doing something hard, try to think about something easier, try to think about something that we can actually do, try to think about something that we have done before. Well, you see that this right here, we are missing x to the third power, x squared, x, right? Maybe if everybody is present, it's actually much easier to factor. So let me put that down. So have a look. If I just put down x to the fifth power plus x to the fourth plus everybody, so I will just say x to the third power plus x squared plus x plus 1. Let's focus on this first. When everybody is present, that's actually much better because we can factor by grouping. You see, the first three terms, we can factor out x to the third power, and then we will be leaving with x squared plus x plus 1. Great. And then right here, I will just factor out 1, and we still get the same thing, x squared plus x plus 1. Perfect. Again, we can factor that out, so x squared plus x plus 1, and I'll just leave this as how it is, which is x cubed plus 1. I know this is factorable, but let me not do that. You will see why. Now, this is what we are going to do. We are going to come back here, we are going to invite these people to there, but we also have to take them away, so we don't change the value, and we can actually factor this nicely. Have a look, right here, let me write it as x to the fifth power plus x to the fourth power, but I will have to add x to the third power, x squared, and then x. And then I will put down the plus 1. But again, this right here has to be subtracted right away. So let me just minus x to the third power, minus x squared, minus x. All in all, everybody has to be equal to 0. Alright? Pretty good. Well, I can make it better. You see, everybody here, it's exactly what we have here. And we can just factor it out right away. Namely, we have x squared plus x plus 1 times x to the third power plus 1, like this. And then, this, guys, we can factor out a negative 
x, isn't it? Yes. And then we have the rest, which is x squared plus x and then plus 1. And still, everybody will be equal to 0. I'm really proud of myself. I can actually fit in everything right here. All right, though. This is so good because this and that are the same. So that means we can factor that out. So I will have x squared plus x plus 1. And then I will just have this part left. So I will just put this down as, let me just do this in blue. We have x to the third power plus 1. But we have the minus x. Let me just put that down right here. Like that. So I'll put this down in black. Here we go. Here we go. And that's equal to 0. And now, of course, we can just use the quadratic formula to solve this. But you will see, this right here does not give you any real solutions. The only real solution is coming from the cubic. And this cubic is actually really nice because it's in the form. Now we can just use the cubic formula right away. Or aka the Cardano formula, aka the Catalias formula. I know the story behind those two people, right? All right, so let me put that down right here for you guys. Notice if we have a cubic in the following form, namely x to the third power plus p, x to the first, and then plus q. If all this is equal to zero, then by the cubic formula, we will have x being equal to, you open the cube root first, and then you can remember qqp, and you do the following. Negative q, and you divide it by 2, and then you add, you open the square root. And then sidewise, you will have q squared, and then remember 2 squared is 4, and then you add p to the third power, and remember 3 to the third power is 27, just like this. We are not done yet, this is another part. But the other part is actually very easy, because we just have to combine this with pretty much the same thing, except for the plus right here, it will be minus, that's all. So inside here we have negative q over 2 minus the square root, and here we have the q squared over 4, and then plus p to the third power over 27, just like that. All right, so we can come back here, and then you see this right here tells us p is negative 1, and q is positive 1. So we just have to throw everything to the formula and see if I can fit in everything right here or not. So let's see, x is equal to the cube root, right? First we have negative q over 2, so we have negative 1 half. Negative 1 over 2. And then we add, we open a square root. And then we have q squared, which is just 1 square, which is just 1 over 4. And then we combine that with p is negative 1 to the third power, which is still negative 1. So this becomes negative, and then we have 1, and this is over 27. All right, that's the first part. And the second part is we just change the plus to a minus. So I will just see, we are going to combine the cube root of negative 1 half, and then minus, and then we have the square root, and then we have 1 over 4 minus 1 over 27, just like that. Yes, I fit in everything right here. Cool. And of course, if you want to be fancy, you can combine the fractions and then simplify whichever way that you would like. But I would just like to tell you, the answer is approximately negative 1.3247, like this. Hey, if you're looking for more online math resources, then let me tell you about Brilliant. Brilliant is a problem-solving based website and app, and they have over 60 interactive courses in math, science, and computer science. Their goal is to help you to be successful in STEM. They puzzle you, surprise you, and expand your understanding of the modern world. All of their courses have storytelling, co-writing, interactive challenges, and problems to solve. So if you are naturally curious or just want to build up your problem-solving skills, then you can get a Brilliant Premium subscription to learn something new. Brilliant's top provoking math courses will guide you to mastery by taking complex topics and breaking down into small pieces so that you can understand them better. You can start by having fun with the interactive explorations, and over time you will be amazed at what you can actually accomplish. So head to brilliant.org slash because this way you can get 20% off discount to their annual premium subscription. 
Thank you for checking them out, and I also want to say thank you to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. Hopefully you guys all like this video, and be sure you guys check out Brilliant, and thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.